Good morning, gorgeous. Today is going to be a fabulous day. Uh, nothing in particular, just because I say so. So I hope you're saying the same thing uh, and you are ready to get a yoga practice going. Today we're going to keep it a little on the gentle side, um, really focusing on the shoulders, just in case we happen to injure our shoulder taking off a wet sports bra or something else that's silly like that. So uh, we'll get started in child's pose. Sitting back on the heels, just stretch out through the spine. We can rock it around a little. And taking both hands over to the right side, stretch the left fingertips far away, shift the hips a little to the left side. Deep breaths in and out, filling up that left rib cage with each breath. One more big inhale. And we'll walk it over to the left side. Reach those right fingertips far away. Shift the hips a little to the right. One more big breath. And we'll bring it back to the center. Inhale, rising up to hands and knees, moving through a couple rounds of cat and cow. Draw the shoulders back, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Stretch through the front of the body. As we exhale, squeeze the front of the body in and stretch through the back side of the body. Inhale, into our cow. Exhale to our cat. A couple more in each direction, just waking up the spine. Last round. And as always, listen to your body throughout the practice today. Don't do anything that doesn't feel comfortable. Then we'll bring it back to a neutral spine. Spreading the fingers wide, bend the elbows, make sure they're coming back towards the rib cage. Toes curl under, hips go high in our first down dog. Lifting the heels, setting them down, walking it out. Moving through a couple of half series. So we're gonna shift forward into our plank, lower the knees down. As we exhale, lower the heart to the mat. Then roll the shoulder blades down the back in a baby cobra. Holding here, lifting the heart, activating those back muscles. Then we'll press into the mat and go back to our child's pose. Once more, stretching the hands forward, lift to a modified plank on the knees. Exhale, sink the heart. Baby cobra, roll those shoulder blades back. In, in baby cobra, no weights in the hands. So we're really using those back muscles here. And gently bow into it, press away, and bring it back to our child's pose. Inhale, taking it up to hands and knees, stack all the joints. Taking that right leg out behind us, left arm overhead, deep breath in with the breath out, set it down, and go to the other side, left leg behind us, right arm overhead. Exhale, set it down, and just moving with the breath from one side to the other. Couple more on each side. And remember, we can just do legs. Being strong but light in the shoulders. Enjoying life that's going on around us. Last round. 
spreading the fingers wide, curl the toes under, lift back to our down dog. Shifting forward to plank, lower the knees down. As we exhale, lower the heart down. Baby Cobra, or King Cobra, or Up Dog, if that's what you choose. And gently bow in, press away, and take it back to our child's pose. Inhale, modified plank. Exhale, lower the heart. Baby Cobra. And bow in, press away, and take it back to our child's pose. Inhale, rising up to hands and knees, stack our joints. Spinal balance with the bind this time, so right leg behind us, left arm overhead. Bending the knee, reach back, grab the baby toe side of the foot, and just gently stretch it open. Squeeze the tush to protect the knee. And softly release, stretch it back out and set it back down. Other side, left leg behind us, right arm overhead. Bend the knee, reach back, take hold and gently stretch it open. Activating the glute, the butt cheek. Nice little shoulder stretch here. And softly release, stretch it out, and set it down. Spread the fingers wide, curl the toes under, and lift back to our down dog. And if we are nursing a true shoulder injury, remember anything we do on the hands and knees, we can do on the elbows as well, and knees, or hands and feet. We can do on the elbows and knees. So dolphin is always a good alternate for downward facing dog. This is especially good if we have wrist injuries. Mom, I have a nerve gun. One of my toy nerve guns. One more deep breath here. Okay, buddy. I see it. Go play with it. So we'll take that right leg up to the ceiling and just twist it out. Stretch it up and set it down, coming to the other side. Keeping the weight evenly distributed between both of the hands. And we'll stretch it up and lunging it between the hands. Sink the hips, lift the heart. Gently setting that back heel down, we're going to walk it around to a standing straddle, turning the left toes in. And just relaxing here, let the head hang. Halfway lift, nice flat spine. If we need blocks here, we can have blocks or we can soften the knees. Taking this into a little twist, taking that right arm up to the sky. Exhale it back to the floor. Other side, big breath in. And out. Moving with your breath from one side to the other. Once more on each side.
and bringing it back to center walking both hands around to the left foot just stretching out through the right side and taking it around to the other side and bringing it back to center. Walking both hands towards the right foot, coming into a lunge on the other side. Lifting through the heart, back leg is strong. And stepping the back foot up to meet the front foot in forward fold, relaxing here, gazing between the knees. Reverse swan dive, soft knees, inhale, reach you guys all the way up. Taking the hands behind us, just coming into a little chest expansion, walking the shoulder blades back and down. Now we can stay right here, or soften the knees and gently bow into it. <laughs> Take my shirt with me. and releasing the hands all the way down. Bending the knees, lunging that left leg all the way back, setting up for warrior two. Turn and place the back heel down. Then squeeze up. Sink in. Deep breath in, taking the arms up, straighten that leg as we exhale, sink back into a powerful cactus arms. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, powerful arms. Getting movement in the shoulders, strengthening the upper back. Last two. Holding here, really squeezing those shoulder blades towards one another. Sinking in a little bit. Inhale, take it up, turning those right toes in, left toes to the top of the mat, and back into our warrior two. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, sink into it. Moving with your breath. Last one, we're gonna hold it here. Powerful upper back. Opening through the collarbones. <laughs> Inhale, stretching it up. Turning those left toes in. Once again, float it down. Uh -oh. Hey, Cooper. Take it to the side of the house, please. Yeah. Yeah. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, releasing it down. Inhale, halfway lift. And releasing it down. One more time. Then heel-toeing the feet beneath the hips. 
Returning to our forward fold, looking between the knees. Reverse swan dive all the way out and up to standing. Hands into the heart center, setting up for a little warrior three. Shifting the weight over to the left foot, taking the right foot behind us and tip into it. So we want a straight line from the leg all the way through the spine. Then flexing that back foot. We can stay right here, keep the leg strong. If we want it, we can tip a little further, but keep the body and leg aligned. We can stretch the arms out to the side. Once again, activating that upper back. Hugging the thigh muscle into the bone. And taking the hands into the heart center, rise up and gently sweep that right leg straight out in front of us. Breathing. And right into dancer. We'll lower the leg down. We'll reach back, grab hold of the inside or outside of that foot to keep the hips squared. Left arm's going to reach high and gently press the ankle into the hand. Still breathing, of course. And slowly rise and release it down. Yoga boogie, shake it on out. Coming to the other side, deep breath all the way up. Hands into the heart center, shifting the weight over to that right foot. Draw the belly button back to the spine. Tip forward, take that left leg behind us and flex the foot. Squeeze that kneecap up towards the hip. Most important thing here is to activate that leg, make it strong, squeeze the tush. If we wanna, we can dip into it a little bit more. Keeping the hips level, arms out to the side. One more deep breath here. And we'll take the hands into the heart center, gently sweep it through. Then into our dancer, bring it down, bend the knee, reach back, take hold. Right arm up to the sky and dance. Can activate that glute to protect the knee. And slowly rise, release, and give a little wiggle around. Deep breath all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart center, returning to the top of our mat. Big breath up. Swan dive down. Taking a standing child's pose. So bend the knees, keep the weight way back in those heels, and just allow the rib cage to rest on the thighs. Let the head relax. Then halfway lift. And release, return to our down dog. Right foot steps back, left foot steps back, hips high. One more deep breath here. Then moving into our pigeon pose, taking that right leg up to the sky. 
As we exhale, hugging it under the body, send the knee towards the right hand, heel towards the left, and slide that left leg back. And bow into it, let the hips open a little bit. And of course, the more space there is between that heel and hip, the deeper the stretch will be. But make sure that we're not leaning out to the side. We wanna keep the hips level to the floor. Okay, go fill it up. Got a new mic today, so hopefully that'll help. Of course, we have no wind today, but hopefully you'll be able to hear the cues a little bit more clearly. If we want to, we can stay right here or we can walk it in, strengthening the back muscles, taking one hand to the heart center, maybe both. If the lower back is happy here, we have the option to reach out. And gently bringing it back down to the mat. Coming back to downward facing dog, we can come to hands and knees first or right back to our down dog. Taking the left leg high to the sky. As we exhale, hug it under the body, sending that knee to the left hand, heel towards the right, and slide on into it. And lower down, let the hips open, listen to the body. Gently tucking that back knee under, bringing that right hip down. Deep breaths in, slow breaths out. Just relaxing the body as much as we can here. If we want to, we can stay right here or walk it in, check in with that lower back, make sure everything's happy. One hand to the heart, two hands to the heart. And the toes here are rooting down the tops of the toes for stability. If we want it, we can reach high. If I didn't mention it at the beginning, we'll want a strap or a tie or a scarf, anything that's available to us for our stretches at the end of this practice. And gently release into it. Return to our down dog. Shifting forward to plank, lower the knees, lower the heart. Baby Cobra. We can take this off so we, so we can shoot. Okay. With a fire dip. And gently bow in, press into the mat, and take it back to our child's pose. Inhale, rising up to hands and knees. Once again, lunging that right foot through. Just sink in, low lunge, so the back knee is on the floor. Taking the hands to the top of the knee and rise up. Adding in a little eagle arms, deep breath all the way up. As we exhale, taking the arms out to the side, crossing the left arm over the right. Back of the hands, or palms connect. Or if the shoulders are really tight, we'll just stay here in a nice hug. Yeah. Elbows away from the knee, fingertips away from the forehead, shoulders down towards the hips. Mm -hmm. 
One more deep breath here. And softly releasing the arms and take it back down to the mat. Lifting the hips and tuck that right knee back to where it came from. Left foot is going to lunge through. Deep breath all the way up. Arms out to the side, crossing right arm over left. Eagle arms, elbows up, shoulders down, fingertips away. Returning to the breath, deep breaths in, slow breaths out, soften the gaze. I love this stretch, especially for those of us that suffer from migraines or tension headaches. Eagle arms is a beautiful way to stretch that space between the shoulder blades. We'll softly release. Take it down, lift the hips, and take it back to hands and knees, bringing the knees together. Send the hips over to the right side, circle over the heels, and send them over to the left side. Just back and forth a couple of times. Then back to center, sitting back on the heels. Taking the hips over to the side, sweep those legs around in front. This is where we're gonna grab our strap. Another nice humid morning here. And I've invested in one of these funny little straps that has all kinds of handles in it, so we'll see how this goes. So taking whatever we have available to us, we're gonna reach the hands up towards the ceiling and just lean it back, push the heart forward, stretch the hands back. We want to stay above the shoulders though. We don't want to go through the shoulders, putting a lot of pressure on the front of the shoulder. We want to stay above it. If we don't have a strap available, this stretch can also be done in a doorway. So you just bend the elbows, place the forearms on the doorway, and lean through it, step through it, and just get a good stretch through the front of the shoulders. If you think about all we do in the front of the body, driving, playing on our phones, working on our laptops. Everything we do is here. So this is a beautiful stretch to kind of counterbalance all the stuff that we do in the front of the body. Odd bods. So an odd bod. Yes, odd bods. Our bods are odd. Then we'll gently bring it up, coming into cow face arms. I'm going to turn around just so you can see the back side. So we're going to bend that right elbow, pat ourselves on the back, and gently take that left elbow, tuck it into the lower back as much as possible, and we'll work the stretch, bringing our fingertips towards one another, maybe even closing the bind. Lifting through the heart, lifting through the crown of the head. Then we'll softly release and take it to the other side. Tucking it in, use the strap. Lifting through the heart, lifting through the head. Relax the hips. Sometimes in this pose we start to tense up through the hips. See if we can relax. Use those abdominal muscles for stability here. One more deep breath. Then we'll softly release those shoulders. Just take a couple shoulder rolls here. One more go around. Deep breath all the way up. Placing that left hand down, right arm up and over into our lateral flexion. Keeping the right hip grounded.
And with our inhale, move through center, exhale over to the other side. And bringing it back to center. I'm sweating too, dude. Releasing the feet onto the mat. Lower all the way back and down. Hugging the knees into the chest. Rock it around a little side. Look at that side. Wide. Wide. I am sweating. Yeah, I'm taking both knees over to the right side. Stretching the arms out to the sides like the letter T. Looking over that left shoulder. Gently lift the knees through center, taking it to the other side, gazing out over the right shoulder. And gently bring the knees back up to center. Give them a hug. Rock it around a little. Then lower the feet to the mat. Let the knees fold in on one another. Tucking the shoulder blades deep beneath the body. And closing the eyes. Staying here as long as we'd like for our final relaxation. 